In school, I was really good at science and maths. I was invited on a course by my school to a women in construction course. There I met a quantity surveyor who told me what she did in her job and how it was all maths and science based and I thought it would be perfect for me. I applied for college but on the day that I was supposed to be going to enrol in college I had an interview with um, E.C. Harris. She was bright and she was keen to become a quantity surveyor. So we thought that we would take her on and the opportunity was there for her and she's done well since then. My apprenticeship lasted for two years. So that involved working for four days a week and then going to college for one day. I found that was a good balance because everything that I was stuck on in college I could get a lot of help with in work and vice versa. After the two year apprenticeship, I had the opportunity then to stay on with E.C. Harris and they sponsor me through university. I'm studying quantity surveying and commercial management. Hannah has recently been awarded the CITB Apprentice of the Year Award for Wales and we as a department are extremely proud of that fact. The construction industry has a great need for ever, ever greater numbers of quantity surveyors and certainly young ambitious people like Hannah are, are, are the lifeblood of the future for the industry. Well I was the first skill in my school to take construction in years and then after I took construction for a BTEC, um, I noticed that a lot of girls were joining then afterwards for the year below. And then I've been told by my teachers that more and more girls have been joining every year. She set herself on a career goal now that she feels really comfortable with and she's enjoying. When she first started it at 16, travelling a long distance to Cardiff, it was over an hour on a bus every morning, another hour back. Uh, so we didn't think at 16 that she would have uh, stuck it out. But to be fair to her, uh, she stuck at it and um, she's, she's doing really well and, and we're really proud of it. My dad was very cautious at the start, knowing that I was going into a, a male dominant industry, but I think I've shown him that I can look after myself.